NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured an image of a dying star. New updates on Starship's orbital launch. And NASA's Moon to Mars office. Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is our new episode with latest SpaceX and space news. So, let's get started. We all know that James Webb Space Telescope had made one of the most valuable improvements in the space industry. When NASA decided to build JWST, the initial expectation of the cost was around $1 billion and was targeted to launch in 2014. Do you know how it ended up? Yep. It cost them around $10 billion due to various technical issues and delays. But despite the challenges, I think it was the most groundbreaking telescope to make immense discoveries in the field of astronomy. It has been making huge discoveries about the early universe, the formation of stars and galaxies, and moreover the hunt for exoplanets. Recently, it took a rare picture of a star that is about to die. NASA termed it as going through the Wolf-Rayet phase, which simply implies that part of a star's life just before it explodes as a supernova. You know, the picture was actually taken in June of last year, but NASA just released it this week at a conference in Austin, Texas, called the South by Southwest Conference. Now, scientists have taken a close look at this star named WR124. This star is much bigger than our Sun, as it has 30 times its mass. It is in a constellation called Sagitta, which is very far away from us, about 15,000 light years. This star is going through the wolf rayet stage, which is a rare and brief phase that only some stars experience. Webb's observation of this star is giving scientists a valuable opportunity to learn more about this stage of a star's life. When stars go through the wolf rayet stage, they lose their outer layers, creating a ring of glowing gas and dust around them. WR124, the star that scientists have been observing, has already lost 10 times the mass of our Sun. According to NASA, the image captured by Webb shows a brief and turbulent moment in the star's transformation, and it will be preserved for future study. Yeah, that's all about JWST. Now, let's go to our second topic. Let's start with some good news. SpaceX has finally secured a launch license for Starship's first orbital launch. The Federal Aviation Administration has issued a launch license for the test of Ship 24 and Booster 7 from the company's Starbase test site on April 17, Monday. I know this is cheerful news to every Starship addict, including me. I was waiting to report this news since last year and now it gives me chills after announcing it. So, the launch window is basically from 8 a.m. Eastern which runs through 10.30 a.m. Eastern. This also includes backup opportunities from April 18th till April 22nd. After a comprehensive license evaluation process, the FAA determined SpaceX met all safety, environmental, policy, payload, airspace integration, and financial responsibility requirements, the FAA said in a brief statement announcing the license. That license is valid for five years, although it currently only covers the upcoming launch. This decision came after a very long review process, where the FAA spent more than 500 days checking over the application that SpaceX had submitted. During that time, SpaceX made changes to the application multiple times. And you know, this review process was the longest that the FAA has ever spent on a single application for a space launch license. But it's totally worth the excitement, right? The official who was in charge of reviewing SpaceX's application explained that the reason it took so long was that the application was very complicated and the rocket they wanted to launch was the biggest ever for a commercial launch license. This made it hard for the agency to review the application and also work on other applications at the same time because it took up a lot of their resources. Anyway, we will wait for that day. You know, I literally can't sleep because of the joy. It's been almost two years since the last test flight of a Starship prototype. This time, what's most interesting is that we have a super heavy prototype to go for the maiden flight. We will be doing more episodes today and tomorrow, so just stay tuned in. Artemis 1 was a huge success for NASA despite the long years of delays and very costly budget. Now, NASA is hurrying up for Artemis II mission, and preparations have been underway since the successful launch of the SLS rocket. 
To make sure everything goes well, they have created a special office that will oversee all the planning for this mission and future ones to the moon. This office will focus on making sure all the different parts of the mission work well together, like the spacecraft, the rockets, and the suits that astronauts wear. The idea for this office came from people in the government and at NASA who were worried that no one was in charge of all the programs that made up the mission. They made a law saying NASA had to create this office to make sure everything goes smoothly. Very interesting, isn't it? Yep. That's all about today's space updates. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow, until then goodbye.